Well, hey guys, good morning. It is a beautiful day out here, and this is my little slice of paradise, so I thought I would bring you guys along and share with you how things are going in the garden. It's very cold, but I'm enjoying my time out here in the garden. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I've got the mic turned up, but I know that you can probably hear the water in the background. And I'm talking quietly because I don't want to wake my neighbors. So I just amended the soil with some perlite to hopefully help aerate the soil a little bit. It seemed really compacted, so just trying to get some more air for the roots. Um, as I've learned that that's very important. Since Tommy is still sleeping and we've got time before church, I think I'm going to head over to OC Farm Supply and get some compost to cover my garden. You guys want to go check on the worms? I do. Let's go. So far, I love having worms. I absolutely love it. They bring me so much joy. I feel like I have new pets in the house. I love to check on them and see that they're doing their job and make sure that they're okay. And if it seems like they're unhappy with anything about the bin, I do a little research and they're so quick to forgive. Like, um, you know, if I need to add a little bit more brown material or more green material, like they're very forgiving. And I feel like this is a lot easier to gauge feedback on than a traditional compost because you know, you can see a living creature having a reaction, whereas bacteria is a little harder to gauge, in my opinion. So, so far, I love having this bin. It brings me so much joy. I feel like a farmer, and I'm so, so excited to start using some black gold in the garden. And bonus, they've already started making some worm tea, which I will show you guys right now. That's my first time actually looking at the liquid. That is impressive that they've produced that much liquid. That's like at least eight ounces of worm tea in 10 days, 14 days. That is impressive. All right, it's time to help the escape artists back into their bin and then we're gonna go get our composted wood chips for the garden. <laughs> Okay, last thing, and then I promise we're leaving to go get some wood chips. The cats have been super naughty lately, and if I let them on the patio, they wander farther than I would like. So I've brought out their baby cat harnesses, which is how they, I train them to be outside. <laughs> and it's like, well, you know, if you're gonna act irresponsibly, you lose that privilege to be outside with freedom, and they are not happy about having to wear their little vests.
So it's my personal conviction that animals are always communicating with us and it's up to us if we're going to listen. I think that goes with pretty much anything in creation. Um, it's really sad when we don't listen and it's really sad when we don't understand. And there was a long time in my relationship with Oliver that I didn't understand what he wanted. But now he and I have a really awesome relationship where he'll actually hop in my lap for snuggles and finally learn to speak Oliver. And uh, I'm just always so touched when he wants to hang out with me. And maybe that sounds silly, but it reminds me that it was a struggle for a long time to know what this little cat like wanted and needed. And now I feel like I can speak Oliver. And it's always a reminder to me to just keep listening to our animals, but also to creation in general. Always got to keep listening and keep learning. I'm going to go get some mulch. You want anything while I'm out? Starbucks. Oh, my basic, my basic boy. How did I know? What do you want from Starbucks? <laughs> One day I look back on our time in our first apartment with out a garage with fondness. <laughs> sometimes it just feels so old, like getting in a car. Getting in a car sometimes is hard. It makes me feel old. All right, let's go get our mulch and let's go get Tommy some Starbucks. <laughs> My favorite place, OC Farm Supply, is closed on the weekends. You're officially in the vlog. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. I hope I make it Yeah, definitely made a cut. Thank you. I just made a new friend in Starbucks. Ironically, I was like, am I gonna be that person? Am I gonna be that vlogger that takes their camera into Starbucks? And I was like, no, you know what? Just do it. Get, get your coffee B-roll. And so I went in there, did my little coffee thing, and at the coffee stand, I made a new friend in Orion. So we totally got to talk about Hates a Good Life. And he had a book by David Coggins, Goggins. Um, and that's somebody I follow on Instagram who I think is He's, he's got it together. He knows how to work hard. And so, um, anyway, it was just interesting that having a camera can start a conversation and you might actually meet people who are interested in some of the same things and people that you are. So, kind of cool. All right, guys. So we are back home. No mulch for me today, which is fine. I'll take that as a sign. I just needed to take the uh, scenic road today. Hope you guys enjoyed that extra scenic B-roll. Interesting how as you consider what does your life have in store for you. I don't know about you guys, but Tommy and I ask ourselves the question, okay, what does our life have in store and where, where? We're very open to what God has for us, but also where he wants us. And um, yeah, so definitely makes you feel nostalgic 
about your home and definitely got a little misty, like just driving through some of my favorite places. You can be so ready for change and it doesn't necessarily make it any easier. <sighs> on to the next thing, which is a phone call with my girl, Melissa, who I met on Instagram. She texted me, hey, it's Melissa from the internet. <laughs> We are going to be talking about a very not so top secret project. It is a seed swap, you guys. I'm going to shamelessly plug. We are running our first seed swap and you guys should be a part of it. So if you'd like to join, we're going to get more details out very soon. Um, but that is coming up in February. So stay tuned for more info on that. FaceTime our friend Melissa. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Do you mind if I like vlog our part of the conversation? That'd be okay? Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm still getting used to the whole like filming life thing. We were gonna do that because we were traveling a lot right before the baby. Mm. And so Chris got a GoPro and he got nice. like all this like, like he had the backpack with like the arm over it and like we were doing like little like like okay we're here now and this is what's going on sort of deals and then we just like we're like oh we have to edit all this stuff and we we just didn't do it yeah then you had a baby and that's kind of a big deal he has the most beautiful <laughs> face ever she's like yeah movie star baby we're cute but we didn't know we made it that cute yeah <laughs> she's so cute she's so cute bias, but <laughs> yeah she's so cute thank you yeah um, okay, you want to hop hop into it? That's cute. Seeds of love. Seeds of love. <laughs> Super cute. This My neighbor's cat is watching me. <laughs> Hi, Tucker. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's it for me today. That is the end of this vlog. We are gonna celebrate this weekend because this weekend has been a really big weekend and it marks five years of dating. So we every year go and celebrate our dating anniversary by going and reliving our first date. And it has been such a sweet tradition and I love it so much. We go and we shoot ski ball, we ride the Ferris wheel, we take the ferry. Sometimes we'll get um, the frozen bananas that we got on our first date. Sometimes we go to Ruby's, although since then we've kicked it up a notch and visited some fancier restaurants. And um, sometimes we even make it down to the coffee shop that we went to to drink some chai and walk over to the beach and enjoy the sights and sounds of our hometown. But before I go, in case you missed it earlier, my friend Melissa and I over at Sure yeah Whatever are going to be hosting a seed swap. So if you went in on this seed swap, all you gotta do is let us know on Instagram. So hop on over to my Instagram, hey, it's a good life with two Y's, it's linked down below. And this is not just any seed swap, this is a seed swap specific for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna be sharing seeds that mean something to us, that have kind of some story of love behind them. And we are going to be sharing Valentine's Day cards. And I think that's a really sweet way to celebrate Valentine's Day cards and invite more people into connection and community. So, so if you want in on this seed swap for Valentine's Day cards or for seeds, whatever your reason may be, I wanna invite you to join our seed swap. And you can do so by visiting our Instagram. She's at sure, yeah, whatever. I'm at hey, it's a good life. Either way, it's the same hashtag. But the name of this seed swap is the Save Love Seed Swap. And you can follow along using that hashtag, Save Love Seed Swap. You can follow that hashtag. You can respond to our stories for a chance to be featured on the highlight reel. You can direct message us. 
help us get the word out there. Okay, you guys, we want as many people in on this as possible because what sweeter thing is there than receiving a Valentine's Day card, receiving some seeds in the mail and knowing that somebody out there loves you. We want to spread the love and share some seeds this holiday. So please help us get the word out there. Tell your friends, tell your family. So help us get the word out there. We think this is going to be a really sweet time and we want to invite you guys to participate. Okay, that's it. I am going to show you guys the garden because it is looking very beautiful this morning and the sun is hitting it just right and we've got some things popping up. We've got our collards and our Swiss chard and our kale and we even have some beans, you guys. We even have some beets. I'm excited to show you, so let's go check it out.